Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand another important concept used in game theory that is Nash equilibrium. And to understand this concept, we use a very interesting situation that is battle of the sexes. So the situation goes as follows. A girl and a boy want to meet each other for an evening out. They have two options, either to go to watch ballet dance or go to watch a boxing match. Now the girl prefers to watch a ballet dance while the boy prefers to go for watching a boxing match. But the condition is that they both want to spend time together. So it's not possible that one of them goes to watch ballet dance and the other goes for a boxing match. Now since we've understood the situation, we form a game out of this situation. First, the two players in this game that is boy and a girl because they are the decision makers of the game and have to decide whether to go to watch a ballet dance or a boxing match. There are two strategies, ballet and boxing. Let's construct the payoff matrix for the game. We know that if the boy goes to watch ballet dance and the girl goes to watch boxing match, they won't be able to meet each other and hence the utility or payoff will be zero. And similarly, if girl goes to watch a ballet dance and boy goes to watch watching, watching a boxing match, again they will not be able to meet and hence the utility will be zero. So we can write these payoffs as zero zero for both boy and the girl. Now next, if they finally decide that they'll go to watch a ballet dance, now we knew that the girl gets more utility by watching a ballet dance than a boxing, while the boy gets less utility by going to watch a ballet dance and more utility from going to watch a boxing match. So the payoff for the girl if they choose the outcome ballet ballet will be greater than the payoff of the boy. So we can write this any numbers just to indicate the utility we can write this as 7 4 8 3 9 4 just anything but the only thing when we write in this cell is that the girl's payoff should be greater than the boy and so we have taken this to be as 10 5 they are meeting each other that is one thing but if they are meeting while watching a ballet dance, girl gets more utility while the boy gets less. Now, think for a minute, what will be the payoff if they end watching a boxing match for both the boy and the girl? We noticed in the situation that boy prefers for a boxing match and girl gets less utility by watching boxing. So in this cell, when we write the payoffs, the boy's payoff or utility will be higher than that of the girl. So again we can write anything as 9, 4, 8, 4 or anything and that is what we have taken is 5, 10. We have taken these payoffs to be symmetrical. Now let's solve this game. So now let's solve this game the same way have we have been doing in the previous game that like in the prisoner's dilemma situation that we did. Similarly, let's solve this game also. So first, let's position ourselves into the place of girl and let's see what she will do. If the girl thinks that the boy will choose ballet, then her payoff when she chooses ballet is 10 and if she chooses boxing is 0. So when the boy chooses ballet, so now let's solve this game the same way have we have been doing in the previous game that like in the prisoner's dilemma situation that we did. Similarly, let's solve this game also. So first let's position ourselves into the place of girl and let's see what she will do. If the girl thinks that the boy will choose ballet, then her payoff when she chooses ballet is 10. And if she chooses boxing is zero. So when the boy chooses ballet, the girl will choose 10. So we can underline this. And if the boy chooses boxing, girl will choose 
that is boxing because her here payoff is 5 and while if she chooses ballet her payoff is 0. So if boy chooses ballet girl will choose ballet and if the boy chooses boxing girl will choose boxing. And now let's position ourselves into the place of the boy and see what the boy will do. If he thinks that the girl will choose ballet then boy if he chooses ballet will get 5 payoff and if he chooses boxing will get 0. So if girl chooses ballet he will also choose ballet because it's his payoff is 5 instead of 0. So we underline this payoff and if boy thinks that girl will choose boxing then again he will choose boxing because his payoff is 10 in this case rather than 0 if he chooses ballet. So we will again underline this 10. So we see that there are two outcomes of this game. One is ballet ballet and the other is boxing boxing. And these two outcomes are called Nash equilibrium. Let's see what this Nash equilibrium means. It simply means that if I choose ballet, that is if girl chooses ballet, then the boy's best response is to choose ballet. And on the other hand, if the boy chooses ballet, then the girl's best response is to choose ballet. So we say the outcome ballet ballet is a Nash equilibrium. It is not a dominant strategy because we saw in dominant strategy that Whatever any player does, my best response is fixed. It will remain the same no matter what the other player does. That is, if the other player chooses ballet or chooses boxing, my best response will always remain ballet. This would be the dominant strategy. But here, it is not like that. Here it says, if the other person chooses ballet, only then my best response is ballet. While if the other person chooses boxing, then my best response changes and becomes boxing and vice versa. So hence, the two Nash equilibrium of the game that is ballet, ballet and boxing, boxing. So we can write that the best response of player 1, given that the player 2 chooses ballet, is ballet. Similarly, the best response of player 2 given that the player 1 chooses ballet is ballet. So we say that ballet is in Nash equilibrium. So this is one of the equilibriums and the other equilibrium that is the best response of player 1 given that the player 2 chooses boxing is my boxing and the best response of player Two, given that the player 1 chooses boxing is boxing. So we say that boxing is a Nash equilibrium. So there are two Nash equilibrium in this game, ballet, ballet and boxing, boxing. Either of the outcomes is possible and we can't predict what will happen. So we define Nash equilibrium as a strategy that is best choice for each player given the other equilibrium strategy. So this was all about battle of the sexes and a brief meaning of what Nash equilibrium is. In the next video, we will formally define Nash equilibrium. Thank you.